How's it going guys? It's Kyle with the How To Guy 123 here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use NVIDIA Broadcast for streaming, making videos, or just general video calling. NVIDIA Broadcast is a software that uses artificial intelligence to improve your live streams, recordings, and video and voice chats by utilizing the processing power of your NVIDIA graphics card. NVIDIA Broadcast can enhance the quality of your microphone by removing background noise, as well as removing the background from your webcam without the need for a green screen, among other things. Keep in mind that NVIDIA Broadcast has some steep system requirements, which I'll have listed on screen now. The most important of which is an RTX graphics card. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 is the minimum RTX graphics card which can be used. NVIDIA Broadcast will not work with GTX cards. So let's go ahead and begin by downloading and installing NVIDIA Broadcast. So I'll leave a link to download it in the description below. And once you're on this page, go ahead and click on the green download now button. Uh, and now go ahead and save the installer wherever you would like on your computer. I'm going to save it on my desktop just for easy access. And it's a pretty small file, so it shouldn't take too long to download. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on the download here in Chrome to open the setup. Go ahead and click on yes, and I'm just going to minimize out of my browser for now. When you first open the installer, it's going to do a system check to see if your PC meets the minimum system requirements for NVIDIA Broadcast. So if your system passes like mine does, you'll see the software license agreement. Otherwise, if your system is not compatible with NVIDIA Broadcast, and you won't be able to continue with the installer. Anyways, if your system passes the check, go ahead and accept the license agreement. Uh, under installation options, choose Express, then click on Next, and now the installer will go ahead and install uh, NVIDIA Broadcast. Alright, NVIDIA Broadcast has been successfully installed. The whole installation process took about a minute. Uh, now go ahead and click on Close, and NVIDIA Broadcast is going to open up by default. And while it's opening, we can actually go ahead and delete the installer because we don't need it anymore. And there we go. So once NVIDIA Broadcast is open, you'll see three tabs. A microphone tab, speakers, and camera. The microphone tab will basically take the input from your microphone and remove any background noise using artificial intelligence. Uh, the speakers tab is actually the opposite of this. It'll take any audio that's coming from your speakers and remove any background noise. So for example, if you're talking to your friend in a Discord chat and they have a loud fan that's blowing into their microphone, and video broadcast will remove the fan noise and you'll be able to hear your friend more clearly. And finally, we have the camera tab. This will basically take the video from your webcam and remove the background, similar to what you would see in a Zoom call. You'll be able to blur out your background replace your background with an image of your choice, or remove the background entirely and use your webcam as a face cam for streaming or making videos. And in this video, I'll go into more detail on how to use each of these tabs. So first, let's take a look at the microphone tab. So this is removing the background noise from your microphone. First, we need to select a microphone source. So go ahead and in the drop down, select your microphone. So my microphone here is the USB plug and play audio device. Now under effects, make sure that noise removal is selected. We also have another effect here, which is room echo removal. Uh, this is basically if you're in a large echoey room, like an auditorium, and a lot of echo is being picked up by your microphone, you can choose this effect to remove the echo. I haven't been able to test this out, so I don't know how well it works, but that's an option you have here if you want to try it out. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to go for noise removal. And if you click add effect, uh, you can also add the echo removal and the noise removal at the same time. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to remove it because I'm not really in an echoey room right now. Now go ahead and flip the switch here to turn on noise removal. You have a slider that you can mess with here to adjust the strength or how sensitive the noise removal is. I'm just gonna leave this at max for now. Uh, so now if we actually wanted to go ahead and use the noise removal from NVIDIA Broadcast, we need to set our microphone output source to NVIDIA Broadcast. So for example, I'm recording this video here in OBS and right now you're just hearing the raw audio from my microphone. So I need to set my microphone to NVIDIA Broadcast. So I'm going to go to settings here. I'm going to go to audio. And right now my mic is the USB plug and play audio device, just my raw microphone. So I'm going to go down to the drop down and I'm going to choose NVIDIA Broadcast. Then click on apply. And now you should be hearing the output from NVIDIA Broadcast. So just to be clear, whichever program you're using, whether it's OBS, Audacity, or Discord, you're going to want to set your microphone as NVIDIA Broadcast to use the noise removal from the video broadcast. So real quick, let's test out how good the noise removal is in NVIDIA Broadcast. So I just went ahead and grabbed the vacuum and right now I have noise removal turned off. So let's run the vacuum close to the microphone and let's see how it sounds. Obviously, if I run the vacuum close to the microphone, you're gonna hear the vacuum and you probably are gonna have a tough time hearing what I'm saying. 
So let's turn the vacuum off and let's turn noise removal on. Now let's go ahead and turn on the vacuum. And despite having the vacuum running very close to the microphone, NVIDIA Broadcast does a pretty decent job of removing all of the vacuum noise. In terms of my voice quality, it becomes pretty muffled. However, I do think it's worth the sacrifice in voice quality, as uh, hearing the vacuum well in a voice chat or recording a video or streaming, uh, it's going to sound pretty terrible. So now that I turn the vacuum off, uh, my voice quality goes back to normal. As a quick side note, if you ever close NVIDIA Broadcast or it becomes minimized, to reopen it, just come down here to the system tray, and you'll see the NVIDIA Broadcast icon here. Just go ahead and double click on it, and it will reopen. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the speakers tab. This is very similar to the microphone tab, but this time rather than removing the background noise from our microphone, it's going to remove the background noise from audio coming from our speakers. So first we need to select an audio output device. So click on the drop down here and choose your audio device, whether that's your headset or speakers. So I'm going to select my headset here, which is a Logitech G733 gaming headset. Now under effects, if we click on the drop down, we also have the two effects here. So noise removal and room echo removal. Uh, but this case, we'll just demonstrate noise removal. Uh, now go ahead and click on the switch here to enable noise removal. And also, once again, we have a slider here to adjust the sensitivity of the noise removal. Uh, but once again, I'm going to leave that at max. We now need to go into Windows settings and set our output device to NVIDIA Broadcast. So let's come down here to our volume on the taskbar, right click on it, then click on open sound settings. Now under output, click on the drop down under choose your output device and select speakers and video broadcast. If we don't set our output device to the video broadcast and we just leave it on our headset, uh, you won't hear any of the noise removal and you'll just hear the raw audio. So now we can go ahead and exit out of Windows settings. So just to test this out, I have a YouTube video here of some air conditioning white noise. Uh, so just as a test, I'm actually going to turn the noise removal off so we can hear what this video sounds like without any noise removal. So if I go ahead and play the video, you should be able to hear the air conditioning and you can see or you can hear that it doesn't sound very pleasant. So now if I go ahead and pause the video and click the switch to enable the noise removal. Uh, now let's go ahead and play the video again and you shouldn't be able to hear the air conditioning. You can hear that the air conditioning is completely removed. If I adjust the strength slider here and I turn it all the way down, you'll be able to hear the air conditioning again. If I set it to about 50%, you can kind of hear the air conditioning. But now if I set the strength to 100%, the air conditioning is completely removed. So finally, let's take a look at the camera tab. So this is removing the background from your webcam. So first under camera source, go ahead and click on the drop down here to select your webcam. I'm using a DSLR that's connected with a capture card and that capture card is called USB video. Next, select the quality and frame rate of your webcam. So my camera is running at 1920 by 1080 at 30 FPS. Under effects, if we click on the drop down here, we have a few options for background removal. First, let's take a look at background blur. And if we click the switch here, this will enable the background blur. And we can adjust the strength slider if we want less blur or uh, crank the slider if we want a maximum blur. Uh, you can see if I move around, the blur is adjusting with my movement. And the video broadcast does a good job of just blurring the background out. It's not blurring me out, just the background. Like I said, if I move around, the blur is adjusting to my movements. We also have a performance mode here. If you are streaming uh, and your computer is acting kind of sluggish, your games aren't running as well, this will use uh, less resources of your graphics card. Uh, but I usually just leave this at quality. Uh, we have a few other options here, like uh, background replacement. Uh, you can change the background with a still image, or I just found out you can even use a video. So just click on the folder icon here to select uh, an image or video. So I'll just go to pictures here and I have uh, the still image of a forest. I can see my background has been removed uh, and it's been changed to a forest. Just like removing the background with a green screen without actually having a green screen. Uh, like I said, works very well. Uh, let's actually go ahead and try a video again. So I have a video of the Northern Lights and you can see my background has been changed to a video of the Northern Lights. And finally, we also have the background removal. This will entirely remove your background and will actually make your background transparent. So you can use this as a face cam for streaming or video. So I'll show you this in a second, but let me actually show you how you would use your camera in a program like OBS. Uh, so I'm going to disable the preview here. So we're going to want to add a video capture source. So video capture device, and I'm going to call this NVIDIA 
click on OK. And then under device, USB video is my raw webcam video. But we're going to want to select camera and video broadcast. And this is our NVIDIA broadcast video source. Uh, I'm just going to click on OK here. Uh, if I enable the preview so I can see what I'm doing, you can see that my background is removed and behind me is just my desktop that I'm recording right now. So that's what background removal does and is very good for using a face cam. And you can resize this to however you want. So I'll put myself in the corner here. And there we go. So just to reiterate one more time, whenever you want to use the video output from the video broadcast, whether it's in Zoom, Discord, or OBS, make sure to set your camera device or your webcam as camera the video broadcast. So alongside our background removal, we can add more video effects. So if we click add effect here, we have two effects that we can add here, auto frame and video noise removal. So auto frame, if I enable it here, we'll add a zoom to your webcam and we can adjust the zoom slider to either reduce the zoom or increase the zoom. Uh, I'm going to leave this at 50%. Uh, maybe a little bit less than 50%, mm, about there. So what auto frame actually does is that if you move around here, auto frame will track your movement and make sure that you're always in frame. So if I change my video source here to OBS and I get up here, you can see when I move around, the video broadcast is tracking my movement and I'm always in frame and we still have the background blur going. So the final effect I want to touch on here in the video broadcast is video noise removal. And what video noise removal will do is that if you're using your webcam in a room that has poor lighting, your uh, video will tend to be kind of grainy. And this video effect will remove the grain and make your video look smoother and uh, a little bit more clear. So I went ahead and turned off all my lights to make my footage a little bit more grainy. And uh, to turn on video noise removal, by the way, it's the last one in the list here. Uh, and to turn on video noise removal, you just flip the switch here. However, I'm going to leave it off for now, and I'm going to switch my scene here in OBS uh, to my webcam, just so you can see the effects of the video noise removal a little bit better. So this is what it looks like without the video noise removal on. Uh, you can see my video footage is a little grainy, especially in the top left-hand corner here uh, and uh, across my bed here. But let's go ahead and turn on video noise removal. And you can see my footage is a little bit more cleaner. I noticed my forehead is like a lot more... Uh, appears to look more smooth uh, it doesn't completely remove the noise in my opinion but it, uh, it looks a little bit better uh, once again this is what it looks like with video noise removal uh, off and here's once again another example with video removal with video noise removal uh, turned on so that brings us to the end of the tutorial if this video helped please leave a like if it didn't leave a dislike if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section below and i'll try my best to help you guys out so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.